Oh, there we go. It makes sense when you use the right tools. <laughs> Not a Ooh. level. <laughs> Funny, I use a hammer instead of a level and everything worked out okay. <laughs> Screws in on top. Please fit. Knee. Chin ups. <laughs> oh my god, no, that's a sure fire way for this. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't actually do it. <laughs> Good morning everybody. We have got our work cut out for us today. My phone has actually been put on do not disturb. That is how badly I need to just get on with life today. I am sick of organising. But we have part two of the room of requirements storage. These are from Ikea. I will link them. You can actually do like an Ikea packs style situation where you like build your own and it just puts all of the stuff that you need in your basket which I love. However, both times I've done it I have ended up with extra stuff. I mean, I didn't pay for the extra stuff, but like that is a bit weird. But anyway, we have shoe storage and long hanging storage. And today we are going to get everything on it. We are going to get everything organized because I can take the disorganization no longer. We're done with it. We need to get started. We set ourselves a few hours to do this yesterday. It actually took like three hours, but we got there in the end. These poles, if you're interested in getting the setup, these poles are probably the hardest because you have to space them out like perfectly obviously for the rails and the shelving to them fit but aside from the poles it's very easy i think these were quite tricky i'm not gonna lie to you i hate these but i don't really feel like i can go back now i actually in hindsight would have preferred the flat shelving i actually think it may have been more efficient this i thought would look nicer because you can really like see the shoes however i didn't realize that it came with this it looks like a bath mat, so don't love that. I also don't know how we're gonna do this because actually, in hindsight, it would be great if there was like a divider across here because my shoes are not that big and so they're all just gonna like slip down. So in hindsight, I actually think these shelves would have been ideal, but I'll see how I get on. What I could do is have no shelf on the floor because I kind of didn't want to like sit things like right on the carpet and then use these two here I guess or I could just order more but I just don't want to be wasteful I literally just got these so if anyone has any ideas I am genuinely all ears these are quite tricky just because it's very fiddly like even with my shorter nails I was really struggling to get these screws in but other than that we're all good also before you rush out and buy it I would genuinely wait and see if this falls down on us first before you invest like i actually do have nightmares just about this whole situation falling down on me so what i didn't realize that they actually gave you were these things stunning little bits of white plastic which you can put over the holes wonderful apparently you can it's not going well right now oh my god yet yeah, another thing that's too fiddly for me oh my god i can't why am i useless i'm actually such a baby oh oh no okay try again is that one broken or am i just Oh, that hole's broken. Okay. Woo. I now understand why my dad and Ryan hid these because they did not want to be responsible for this job. Next step, we are going to have a big shoe clear out because I do not want to be putting shoes that I'm actually not going to wear on the shoe rack. This is valuable real estate. There is limited space, so we have to be somewhat ruthless. Topshop boots I have had forever. Keep. A soft sock boots that I have also had forever. Keep, love them. Oh, we have summer shoes in here. This is gonna be interesting. Do we store the summer shoes? Maybe, might be a good idea. Chanel sliders, keep. Bottegas, hurt my feet so much, but look amazing in photos. Keep, love Arizona. Colorful Birkenstocks, I love, so I'm keeping those. These boots, I have not worn them in so long, so they might have to go. YSL sliders, so beaten up, but just adore them, and they're still, alive and kicking fendi slides they need a clean up but they're gorgeous we're keeping those these shoes they are looking a little bit worse for work, <laughs> but i got engaged in them so maybe we'll keep them fendi boots love keeping those jimmy Choo over the knee boots keep those and see how we get on i do just think if you get a good over the knee boot that you love you should just keep them for every time they come back in and they're gorgeous so yeah, those are the ones that I'll keep. My Chanel snow boots, I love them so much. These, I need to go skiing so that I can wear these. Okay, more. Honestly, don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's so gorgeous, but very like chunky. Converse, love, keep. 
these shoes have kind of seen better days but i've also got so much wear out of them and they're kind of useful in my wardrobe but i've just invested in the amount of shoes that i have these might have to go asos uh no these have got to go i, I don't actually like those that much these are actually very useful these are the ysl shoe dupe they're far more comfortable than the ysl shoes so love these these sliders i have not worn in like two years i actually don't think i've worn them since i bought them so those can go then we have the actual what i sell shoes stunning but so painful like look at the curve on the back of the shoe look that goes into your ankle it hurts so much like i actually i should sell these however i don't want any other human to have to deal with the pain that these cause they just don't seem to want to stretch that is still like a big curve they're a really badly designed shoe and i think they'll just sit on display forever because i'd have to give these to someone i couldn't make people pay to experience that much pain you know ballet flats very useful more ballet flats useful keep them now these are possibly the ugliest shoes in my collection but they're a wedge and sometimes when you're wearing a really long floaty dress at a wedding and it's a grass wedding shoes like these are actually very useful get yourself an ugly but practical wedge home sandals that i have just not worn keep them and see if i wear them this summer another box done let's put the nose in a box not going well so far okie dokie chloe sandals really cute let's keep those a pair of Top shop heels they look so beaten up no let's part ways these ysl heels kind of look like they've seen better days but they're actually really helpful again if i need to wear them under something really long and i need a lot of height so we will just keep them but maybe we won't display you these zara heels actually very nice and very useful if you want like a minimal sparkly shoe so we'll keep those strappy little zara heels oh so many zara heels i don't know i don't really feel like this kind of vibe is it still a thing I'm with the kitten heel put them in the giveaway moogler boots keep let's say goodbye now i would have <laughs> thrown these away i've had them for like three four years however chanel have just brought out a shoe that looks basically exactly like this with a tiny cc here so i'm gonna keep them because i feel like at some point i'll see someone wearing them and be like oh that's cute i wish i hadn't thrown mine away cute little blue heels they're useful sparkly sock boots from Topshop in like 2017 i love them i love them so much they're staying another pair of oh these are so broken wow <laughs> no <laughs> okay so we are down three boxes okay let's see how many of them fit on the shelf shall we these are so heavy i'm actually kind of scared to put them on there put you on the bottom now it is time for the long hanging items and again i'm going to clear out as i add things to this rail just to make sure everything is going to get worn because i really don't like putting things on a rail and then just a year later being like i have not worn this so i mean that's probably going to be my thought process as i do this but anyway first item which i love this mango dress it's going straight on that i know i'm gonna wear it okay we have some long coats the tan mango coat which i just have forever and i love that is saying praying that this thing doesn't fall down on me as i stack it my burberry trench love that can stay i will reorder this but it's good to just get things on mango black trench coat love this blazer i'm not sure like is this me what do you think i mean i'm wearing it with activewear which is not helpful i mean it fits really nice but like am i gonna wear it let me know let me know your thoughts i won't do anything with it until um i get your opinions it just seems a shame like when you actually find something on the high street that is really well fitting it seems like such a shame to get rid of it i also just am not like a suit blazery type girly okay then we have this mango coat you can't really see it but it's like black with a faux fur collar trim it's giving more wife I love it. Let it be a reminder to all of you who love the mob wife trend that I have been a fan of faux fur coats for a very long time. So I reserve my right to love this trend. Then we have a mango, really oversized coat. I really like this one, so I'm gonna keep it. The camel alternative I don't get as much wear out of, but it is really nice. And when I do wear it, it really slaps. So I'm gonna keep that. Then we have knitted long items. And this is where we might need to store some things or let some things go. 
because I'm just not sure on some of these. So we have this All Saints tie at the waist knitted dress. Is it All Saints? Oh no, it's and other stories. I might keep it, but I'll fold it because I really don't wear it very often, but every so often I do end up wearing it if we're going for like a pub date. Like seeing friends at the pub in the winter and I wanna like look nice, but I don't wanna be cold. I then have a very similar version to it, but it's more like open back, no tie waist from Reformation, which is new and it's not as knitted, so it's not as cozy feeling. I th think this is like the summer alternative, but I love it. I love the back. It's so nice. The other one's more of a like higher neckline as well. This is a little bit more, feels a little bit more classy. It's also got a flared sleeve. Do you know what? No, it doesn't feel more classy. It feels more modern. I really love it. So I'm gonna put that there to remind me to wear it. This I have not worn in so long. I might put it on my Depop maybe. I think it's from And Other Stories. It's like a towel -y material i just don't wear it i don't actually find it super flattering on me i think if you've got more of a athletic build it looks a little bit better i don't know i've seen it on other people i love it i just i just don't love it on myself and then we have this sunday luxe lounge set which is super nice but i'm just not like wearing this kind of thing at the moment so i might give it to a friend or i might just roll it up and put it in a drawer i don't know i then have basically the same thing in a less structured cardigan i'm just not wearing the long cardigans at the moment i feel like after lockdown i'm so sick of long cardigans in loungewear that mm -mm. my mom might actually love this though so i'm gonna see if she wants it we then have so oh no so many long hanging dresses now this might be where the wardrobe downstairs actually comes in handy because i can actually make that all like long hanging events dresses and then keep my coats up here what do we think or do i put long hanging events dresses up here and the coats in my bedroom i don't know which one makes more sense hmm maybe the coats make sense downstairs so i don't have to run up here every time i want to put a coat on two thousand years later Oh, I don't know. I actually think these will look way nicer on display, but then there's way more chance of like them getting super dusty because they're not being worn all the time. Yeah, maybe I'll put those downstairs and keep this as coats and then like long dresses. I'm gonna sort these hangers out by the way. I know they don't match. we are getting there next up we are going to sort out my jewelry because this ends up being a mess literally every day and i want everything to fit in here but to also be organized because at the moment it just feels like slightly chaotic on the top because i dump things and then the lower down you go the more it just is nothing is happening so i feel like we can use the space more efficiently if i was doing this again honestly i'm not a big bracelet girly so i actually wouldn't go for the underlayers for necklaces and bracelets i would definitely do way more of this and maybe some more sunglasses things too actually so at the moment i seem to be working out of this monica vinader box mostly which is kind of annoying i also have this pouch over here full of all of the big chunky things like where there is no compartment for stuff like that i have larger items like like this in boxes like we need to figure out a solution for this because i can't keep working like this i also have a box here full of like old sentimental jewelry or hair bits or just things that i don't want to wear right now but i also don't want to get rid of but this would be amazing for like some sunglasses or something i honestly i don't know i don't know what the right thing to do here is but we definitely need to have a rejig in here So we now have a little pack of random things, which I can take out if I want to use this when I travel, have some bits to give to the girls when I see them next. I am keeping this empty box out because I really, really like traveling with this one. It's nice and compact. And then this is how things are looking. This is very pleasing to me. I kept all of my favorite 
things on top these oh my god i'm so obsessed with these i, I want to wear them every day but they just aren't appropriate with my active wear but i'm obsessed with them also these suru earrings i am obsessed with those cos heart earrings which i have a dupe for i will link them obsessed with those etsy drop earrings still very very much obsessed with those and then i have some necklaces that i love these are from aurelia this one is monica vinida oh and that one's aurelia too this one is monica vinida but it's sold out they don't even stock it anymore but hayley bieber once wore it and it's just the best necklace these are vintage my mom's and then we have the big asos hoops which i don't want to move because i've just got them into place and they all fit these are monica vinida silver hoops i believe they still do these they're like a core part of their range and then some aurelia bow earrings from a couple of years ago and then just some other fun jewelry underneath and then we have one of my favorite sections we've managed to free up some space which is stunning and i try and group it by like brand so i have all of amelia's raimi bits really really close together we've got some aurelia bits monica vinida hoop earrings astrid amelia hoops monica vinida hoops but these are all the same style oh we actually have a rogue one over here i keep all of those together and that's just the way i like it monica vinida swirl earrings these little seashells i think i got these off of like etsy love them and then we have bracelets now i think it says a lot about me that i have more fun holiday bracelets than i do regular bracelets just not normally a bracelet girl as you can tell i just love my summer bracelets i miss summer and then to be honest my necklace collection is pretty much half and half so we've got smaller necklaces up top lots of them are monica vinida astrid Miu, edge of ember and aurelia and then we've got a lot of the same style of monica vinida necklaces that i have in bracelet form and then we have this very fun little astrid Miu multicolored bead necklace again love me a summer beaded anything and then on the bottom we have got sunnies which i need to sort out because i just don't feel like this is reflective of my favorite sunnies a lot of them are in that black jimmy chew box that i was talking about earlier now well they're just in my handbags so it's looking much better the annoying thing about stackers though is when you move them things slide about so i'm always like trying to nudge things back into place these are getting tangled i don't like that but it's much better than it was before and all nice and organized and it the lid shuts which is unreal also i highly recommend getting some of these you can get them from like they come with like lots of branded jewelry so like from a jury i'm not sure if ashton and me and monica vineta do them but i'm sure you can get loads of these on amazon and i highly recommend these because i had a few of my raimi earrings that i found that i was like oh my god completely forgot about those and they were looking a bit rusty and you just give them a little polish with the cloth and they're perfect again so highly recommend getting some of those because once upon a time i thought that it was just like the things were toast and that was it and they were never going to look good again but you can make them look all shiny and new and they're gorgeous this might not work out for me I may need little stoppers to stop the shoes falling off. I may just need flat shelves. Basically, you take one shoe off, the whole house of cards comes tumbling down. Anyway, good morning, everybody. We are going to London today, and as per usual, I am rushing, even though I left myself the most time to get ready. Why am I like this? I don't know. I'm hoping my train is, in fact, delayed, because it means that I hopefully won't miss it. As per usual, I am wearing all black, because I could not decide on an outfit. I think I need my wardrobe magician Carla who is a stylist to come in and make me some outfits like help me give the wardrobe a rejig I feel like last summer I got into a really good routine of like not routine like I had like a uniform there was like it was like formulaic I knew everything I was pairing together and right now all I can pair together is the same pair of black cos jeans and a black body the Celine belt and a pair of pointed boots I have no other uniform there is no variety although I say that I have a new jacket I don't know if I've showed you this yet. I definitely put it in my what I wore in a week that it's basically gonna be a what I wore in a month because it's gone way over a week, I'm useless. This is from Monkey and I think it's kind of cute. So we're just gonna go with this today because it's all I'm gravitating towards and I just feel a bit funky in literally everything else. I also am just struggling. I just wanna be really casual during the winter and then when I have to dress up and put like, a boot on i just like feel completely out of my depth so the jacket is nice and casual it's bringing the tone back down and i really like that also got chanel sunnies can't find my mimi ones but they would have been cute with this too but I, I like the all black so this is the outfit in full giant bag because i need to work on the train let's go to london okay changed my mind we're going mob wife and i will wear probably the black jacket tomorrow <laughs> 
I like this. This is cute. Spoiler, she did not make it to London. You guys, oh God. So my train got canceled. This, we're, we're a couple of days later at this point, by the way. So I didn't make it to London. I actually thought I was gonna have to go to hospital. And I know I probably shouldn't tell you this because someone is going to convince me that there's something wrong in my brain and I'm, I'm dying. I know what happened, but it was a very scary afternoon. So my train gets canceled fine bit stressful i hate letting people down like to the point where recently i turned up to a meeting off of the back of a hot girl walk like i was in my adenola stuff because i was so hell-bent on not missing the meeting basically I had to go straight from my hot girl walk to get an earlier train otherwise i would have had to have cancelled cancelled the meeting and it was just stress but anyway i will do anything to avoid letting people down and maybe i was a bit stressed maybe I came to the wardrobe room after my train was cancelled and you know taking the jeans off because I know I'm going to be in the house for the afternoon so over my dead body are the jeans staying on we're getting into something comfy and I'm looking in the mirror right ahead of me and I'm looking at myself and I can't see part of my reflection and I'm like wait is my mirror like way more warped than i thought like i'm looking at my face and it was almost like there was a thumbprint on my eyeball it was not a floater there were no floaters in my eyes there was nothing wrong with my eyes i was looking at my face and i was like there's a whole patch of my vision that i can't see it was literally like someone had put a sticker over a part of my eye and i couldn't see out of it i then try to google what this is and i'm looking at my phone screen and i can't read i can't see the phone screen and it sounds so strange like trying to describe it but luckily i managed to find an image online of what i was seeing and i'm i'm like starting to freak out and i go downstairs and ryan has like an hour until he is leaving for work and i'm trying to tell him what's wrong he's like looking at me because i'm trying to just be normal and i'm like um when do you leave and um yeah and how long will you be gone for and he's like what is wrong and i'm just like i can't see and i can't read and i don't know what is happening to me and i just burst into tears at this point ryan is trying to read the screen for me which makes me feel so useless and i am basically just hysterical the longer this is going on the more panicked i am getting and after a while ryan says to me do you have a headache and i'm like no but what happens next is i actually there's the blur but then i start to see color and pattern and it's there even when i close my eyes and the color and the pattern it's like kind of moving slightly and i'm just completely freaking out and basically i go and sit down and rise like you just need to like not look at anything and not focus on anything for a while just lie down close your eyes and i'm like right okay are you sure because i feel like we should be you know going to the emergency room meanwhile messaging my friends that work in the emergency room like <laughs> Am I okay? Do I need to come in? Am I dying? So not knowing what on earth was going on with my eye was quite stressful. My eyes aren't like amazing in terms of sight. So I am quite anxious about them, especially like you only get one set of eyes as well. Like my eyes are, I, I just, my eyeballs are so important to me as they are all of us. I'm sure lots of you who have experienced the same will be watching this, knowing what I'm about to say in that it turned out it was a migraine. For a long period of the migraine, I did not have the headache element of it and i've never had a migraine like this before i've never had a, a migraine that has affected me visually and i was so freaked out yeah it just completely knocked me for the rest of the day but all i can think is like i'm so thankful that i wasn't on the train when this happened because i would have been losing my mind even more than i already was basically my friends that work in the hospital are like congratulations your body has found a new way to tell you that you're stressed and i was like we have packages. This one's quite a heavy one. Oh my god, not me trying to open this box with the world's tiniest pair of scissors. One thing that this room has been sorely in need of, in my opinion, because you guys know I hate the big light even though my big lights, they are gorgeous and I am very happy with them. I don't like the big light. I like soft cozy glows in every single room of the house like even the bathroom up here that is why we have wall lights and they're on a separate switch to the the big lights because when i go in in the evening and i don't need that ceiling fan on you bet i am just gonna ha my dog is driving me mad today you bet i am literally just gonna have the wall light 100 percent and 
Do you know what this room was missing? The cozy glow. I kept things simple. I didn't want to make a big fuss. Didn't want to go for anything too wild, though there is an Oliver Bonus boucle lamp that lives rent free in my very own. Slurring my words, I'm honestly like my, I'm done with today already. Oh, the sweet, sweet sound of Ryan making me a coffee. I went for something simple. I just thought I'd keep it in keeping with the ceiling. Is that maybe a bit much? Potentially. However, do I care about being an interiors queen like I used to? No, I really don't. I honestly think that home interior accounts went too far and it just got to this point where I was like, I'm not inspired anymore. I just feel like this is so far beyond anything I will ever have that I'm just kind of like, this just doesn't feel achievable in any way. So I kind of went the opposite way and just stopped giving a crap about how my house looked. I don't care if I'm trendy. I don't care if it's not perfect. I just like what I like and I like simple things and that's where I'm at. So, wow, they really, they are crazy with this. They love sellotape at Don Elm, don't they? Tissue paper does not have to be sellotaped on, that's insane. Oh, Jesus, there's more. I have no idea what I'm doing. Where is DIY Rye when you need him? Oh wait, oh wait, can I do this? Oh, I'm doing it, yay, woohoo. Right, so now my question is, why do I have so much extra wire? Oh, there we go. Oh, slow. Okay, now all we need is a little coffee table just here so that I can put all of my crap on something and I think we're done. skincare and I thought I'd quickly talk you through some of my favorite things that I'm using at the moment. Starting off with the Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate. I'm really enjoying this, it's like a really hydrating serum. It's really good and I believe it's not as expensive as the other Shiseido serums that I love as well, which is great. The range also has a moisturizer, which you will probably recognize because I used that to literally the last drop over the last like six months. I actually really wanna get another one because it's a really good moisturizer. But my other Shiseido Day Serum ran out. I decided to start using this and I really like it. It's very hydrating on the skin. And then this eye cream, I have a second backed up. I'm waiting for when this one runs out because it's, it's nearly there. I don't think I've ever used up an eye cream before. Maybe one, but the Ceramite AF Eye Balm from Drunk Elephant, I really like. It's probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite, eye cream that I've ever used. It's just really nourishing and hydrating and like creamy around the eye. I find it's keeping my eyes really well hydrated given I spend a lot of time outside. Like I'm walking, normally I get like dry skin around my eyes and I'm quite prone to eye eczema. I haven't had that this year. So I think this is doing good things and I will definitely be continuing using this after I use it up. This lip balm, again, given the fact that I spend a lot of time outside and I will walk, whether it is rain, snow, sunshine, whatever the elements, my lips take an absolute beating and they're actually like their least dry at the moment and I really haven't been like tearing into them like I usually do like normally you can always see there's a scab or some kind of like bite mark on my lip there's been no dry skin and it is because of this this is doing amazing things for my lips it's the Cica Plast Barrier Repairing Balm by La Roche-Posay feels so nice on the lips as well and I swear it has like a slight vanilla-ness as well which I really love and then the moisturizer that I am using at the moment now that my Shiseido one has run up is the Clé de Peau Protective Fortifying Emulsion I really love, like, number one, I love the cap on this. It's very satisfying. I just love the pump action on this. And I love how big it is. Like how much? 125 mil. That's a lot of moisturizer. It is expensive, but you get a lot of moisturizer. So I think it's great. And it's way less expensive than Clé de Peau's the, the Creme. The cream, the Creme. That cream. <laughs> I know, wait, I have one. This is very spinny. Stunning. Like stunning. It looks especially good in this bathroom. Wow, I should leave that out. But yeah, very, very pricey. Amazing. It feels like butter on your face, but very pricey and not necessarily what I need for like a morning moisturize. This, this is great. I also feel like they do a lot of mini testing kits quite a lot and you can get many samples of this so if I can find any of those I will link it because I think this is great so that is skincare that I'm loving at the moment oh I need to show you we now have a coffee table in the wardrobe room so this is how we are looking we have a little coffee table the lamp as you saw yesterday now all we need is the long 
to the floor curtains like we have here and we are done the shoe shelves still tbc i think they were a really bad decision on my part and i'm gonna have to deal with that and i'm very happy with the fact that i put my coats up here i think that was a really good choice because actually i don't reach for my event dresses as often so they are in the wardrobe downstairs and then over here it's just all neat and tidy business as usual got my bags ready to sell everything is looking so nice and neat this is so nice oh my god i think this is the first time in my life i've ever had like multiple organized rooms this is such a nice feeling i can't wait to um pack for paris and completely mess all of this up in about two hours i think that is going to be something we'll save for the next vlog and i'm going to leave it here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again in my next one love you bye